This video highlights some of the new and updated features of Brightspace Learning Environment 10.7.7. Creating posts and activity feed that can be scheduled to release to learners at a specified time is now generally available to instructors. For a video tutorial on creating scheduled posts and activity feed, click the video link at the end of this video or find a link to it in the description. Rubrics now display to learners at the beginning of the assessment portion of an assignment submission folder. When a learner is viewing their assignment submission folder and they navigate to the Show Rubrics section, they can expand the section to view the rubric in line by clicking Show Rubrics. The rubric now displays at the beginning of the section. A new permission, User as Parent, is now required for the parent role to access Brightspace for Parents. This permission is found under Brightspace for Parents. Improvements have been made to some Brightspace data sets to address gaps in how data is generated for certain fields. For more information, please review the Data Hub Admin Guide. Exemptions are no longer limited to the gradebook and can now be used in Content, Lessons, Calendars, the Course Schedule, and the Updates widget. Instructors can now set exemptions for learners from within Content. Click Edit Restrictions for, and then click Manage Exemptions. Navigate to and select the learner who will be exempted. Lastly, click Exempt. The Exempt status column updates to reflect the new exemption. To return to content, click Close. Click Update to save your changes. Edit Restrictions 4 is now updated to reflect the number of active exemptions on a topic. The Table of Contents and the Module Completion Tracking will update to reflect the new count of required topics in a unit. Also, the topic title is updated to reflect the exemption. When a learner accesses an exempted topic, they are taken to a new page, restating the exemption and giving them access to the content. Updates have been made to groups and sections. These updates focus on improvements to manage courses and the correct use of role settings for groups and sections when users are auto-enrolled. The Lessons tool is now generally available. When creating new documents in Lessons, instructors can now apply HTML templates by accessing templates stored in course offering files or shared files. Also, Lessons is compatible with the new expansion of grades exemptions. Learners can be exempted from content and assignments. When a learner accesses an exempted topic, an exemption message displays, and the learner can choose to access or not access the content. Content item message tool providers are now listed among the Add Materials tiles and lessons. Learners can now download content and lessons. Note, this requires that learners have the permissions Download Content Topics and Compile and Download Content. To download content, a learner can now click Download prompting the new Downloading Files Progress page, which compresses the downloaded material or unit into a downloaded zip file. Further instructions on how to create scheduled activity feed posts and creating great exemptions can be found by accessing the displayed video links.